What's up guys? Welcome back. In this video we're going to be discussing event source. This is also known as server sent events. This one has to do with what's known as a content type. Things on the internet have a content type. So when you create an HTML page, it has a content type of text slash HTML. There's a very similar thing for JavaScript and all other kinds of data on the internet. Well, with the event source, when you make that first request to the server, it responds with a content type of text slash event stream. This text slash event hyphen stream is where the magic happens. When the client gets this, it starts listening for new data. It's a stream, it's expecting to get new data. So this opens a one-way persistent connection from the server to the client. Very similar to how Forever Frame allows the server to send stuff to the client. Just like Forever Frame, Event Source will have to make a new request if the client wants to send data to the server. I would suggest that the best way to think about this is the subscriber concept. So the client subscribed to the server's stream of continual content. Kind of how when you subscribe to my YouTube channel, you're going to get notified of any new videos. Hint, hint. <laughs> well, believe it or not, that's really all I have to say about Event Source. In the next video, we'll be talking about my faves, WebSockets. See you then, guys.